Hey, what's up, guys? Nerdy46, and today I have a tutorial for how to get tons of diamonds, basically infinite, in Feed the Beast using Mistcraft. Okay, so first thing you're gonna want to do is make a writing desk. Now, a writing desk is really not that hard to make. Here's the recipe. All it is is some wood planks, glass bottle, and feather. Next step, you're going to need a notebook. Notebook, once again, three leather, not very hard. You're going to need some ink files. Once again, another very simple recipe. You can use the two ink sacks. You don't need ebony drops. Those are just another item you could use instead. And one water bottle. And then you're also going to make sure you have a linking book so that you can get back to the overworld. Because basically what we're going to be doing is creating a new world that has diamond or tendrils. Now, I'll get into that in a little bit. But to get a linking book, you're going to need a regular book. And to do a linking book, it's really simple. All you have to do is go into your crafting menu, drag a... Uh, first, you have to go into survival mode, I guess. So you have to be in survival to do this. Go game mode 1, drag your book into there, and you get your linking book. Now, whatever direction you're facing and where you're standing, that is where your linking book is going to bring you back to. So that's very important for using these. So, yeah, let's just go back to creative mode okay so once you have that all set up oh yeah also you're going to need a book binder as well so that's just some uh, planks and three iron all this is very easy to craft and then the hardest part you're going to need is the tendrils page and the diamond ore page now these pages um, you could either spawn them in with creative mode or you could um, what you have to do is like find them through villages and it's very hard to find a villager that does trade for diamond ore tendril and then the tendrils page so you're gonna have to hunt around a little bit but once you do get these two pages no matter how you get them um, if you want to know how to get them more in depth on getting pages you could look up a tutorial on that I don't currently have one on my channel but um, direwolf20 has a uh, miscraft tutorial and he goes into in depth about how to get pages so anyways you're going to need the diamond door page and the tendrils page to do this you're also going to need some paper and inside your writing desk what you do to actually copy these pages for your new book is you drop some ink files in there and it'll fill up this with black ink then what you're going to want to do on the page is right click and you copy a page and then you're going to want to do it for each page so you have your tendrils and your diamond door as you can see the ink went down once you make more pages you come over here, oh yeah, you're also going to need some leather. That's another thing you're going to need. So what you do is just grab a stack of leather. Inside your book binder, you put some leather in this slot, and you put your pages in here. Now the order is very important. You're going to want your modifier first, so your diamond ore modifier of the tendrils. So diamond ore and then tendrils, because what type of tendrils? diamond ore ones. So grab the descriptive book and you place it down on a um, on a book stand. Once again, book stand, very simple recipe. Um, oops, all you need is one wood plank, two sticks. Um, and then let's travel this world. So all you do is right click on it and then click this little black area. And it may lag a little bit, but it will bring you to your Age of Diamond Door Tendrils. Now, it can be very laggy when you first load it up. It's going to have random stuff. So, as you can see, I think we have an orange sky or something like that. It's very weird, but it, it will work. So, here we go. As you can see, Diamond Ore Forever. You will never need to go caving again. In this world, um, apparently there are some negative effects. As you can see, there's mining fatigue and blindness. Those aren't very great. Those, those kind of suck, but you can keep trying to make more worlds that are more stable. Because in Mistcraft, when you create a world um, that has such good things, it most of the time will be very unstable. Another thing you're going to want to watch out for is the um, purple stuff. It's like corruption. If you've ever played um, 
what's called Terraria and the corruption. The corruption will spread and eventually eat up your uh, diamond ore, so you're going to want to try and make a, a more stable world in Mistcraft. It's kind of hard to explain the stability of worlds. But anyways, this is how you get diamond ore, you know, tons of it for free. It's very easy in Feed the Beast. It's pretty awesome. You'll never have a uh, lack of diamond ever again, so... Okay, so another really quick thing I forgot to mention is how to get out of this dimension and back to the overworld. So what you're going to want to do is take your linking book, place it in a um, book stand, so then you have your overworld, and then just click on there, and you are back to the overworld. That would be very important. Now, you don't want to lose that overworld book, or otherwise you are going to be trapped in that dimension or age forever unless you do creative or have a server host or moderator or whatever tell you out that's the only way to get back so if you were to lose your linking book and then someone else comes up breaks this book you're pretty much screwed so you're going to want to make sure you keep that linking book it's very 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 important to getting back to your um your overworld where you have your house and where you want to actually use your diamonds so yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, you know, hit the like button below. If you have any comments or questions, leave that in the comments below, and I will try to get them answered as soon as possible. If you have any suggestions for a future video or Feed the Beast tutorial, um, yeah, just, you know, leave it below. Once again, thanks for watching. This is how you get tons of diamonds in Feed the Beast with Mistcraft.